Hey, so how to do bookkeeping for your business in three easy steps. Today, we're going to talk about this topic. And today with me, Marianne, she's going to help us with this. She is a part of, and I guess represents, is a, a group called Accounting Pifos, which help people <laughs> around the world with their bookkeeping different sellers in e-commerce, and also people in the Philippines who are bookkeepers to find the right person to work with. Marianne is going to help us today. So Marianne, how are you today? Tell us about yourself, and then we'll dive into the content of bookkeeping in three easy steps. Yeah. Thank you, Boba, for inviting me here in your YouTube channels. By the way, I'm Marianne Bilaboneta, and you can call me Yan Yan. So BS Accountancy graduate. But then again, just last year or 2021, I found this freelancing world as opportunity for all of us Filipino. From then on, I'm teaching some newbies from bookkeeper who wants to learn how to serve international client. So we have an epic group, as Boba mentions, we have 7K members already. We're helping each other through some courses, paid courses, free webinars. And also, again, the goal is to serve clients. We help clients all over the world to have their financial statement ready and tax systems ready. Yeah. Pretty cool. Nice to have you here. Yeah. So bookkeeping is something mm -hmm. that People, many new sellers, sometimes they are like not investing too much time in. They're just running their business. They're trying to yeah. sell products and all that. Sometimes we're like, are we profitable or not? It seems like I'm having sales, but how mm -hmm. do we make it right? How do we know that by the end of the year or by the end of the month, by the end of the week, depends on how we look at that. How do we know where are we standing? How can bookkeeping help us with that? And what is bookkeeping like? What are these three steps to make it right? Can you share yeah, yeah, thank you, Baba, again. Yeah, so for some of the business owners, I think this is pain under us to get their books done, or financial statement, but having a bookkeeper or do the bookkeeping will make it make your life easier. So I'll give you three steps on how to do the bookkeeping or bookkeeper as a bookkeeper. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, we will help you. For, of course, you have a question, what actually bookkeeping means? So mm -hmm. bookkeeping means it's just a recording of transactions, expense, and income. And then ensure that all the ex income expenses are properly recorded and we can translate into the financial statement and we review with the client. So our end goal is to have, as Boba mentioned, our goal is to see if your business is really having a profit or income at the end of this year. So I'll just give you some cheat tips to really have a good books in place. So first of all, if you do ask a help of a bookkeeper, for me, I have three requirements. The first thing that the client need to do to the onboard a bookkeeper is a bank statement. So for sure, I'm pretty sure 90% of all your transactions are in the bank. So most probably this is accurate. So I think the 10%, if you will ask what's the 10%, for sure there is a lot of happening on the business. Sometimes you bought some fixed assets and loan. You can consider some prepaid or insurances. So that's the 10% is coming. That's why 90% on bank statement, 10% on some of the loan amortization and some prepaid expenses. But I'm pretty sure again that is 100% correct if you give the bank statement to me as your bookkeeper, we will record actions. Of course, including the bank statement, you should also give the credit card. Although it's also some confusions on that because I know, I know the fact that sometimes personal and business expenses are being mixed, but there's solutions on that. That's why we have a bookkeeper to really help you to dissect or separate your personal and business expenses, right? So the second one, of course, I will ask you first what's your accounting software. I know at the fact also that some of the US clients using QuickBooks Online and Desktop, most of United Kingdom clients and Australian clients using zero. But then again, the goal is to have a software just to make your transactions easy and fast. And the third one, of course, the last one is only a Google Drive. Google Drive means you have to share all your receipts or bills, expenses on the Google Drive so we can verify or support all the bank statement, all the transaction on the bank statement. So that's it. So from then on, we can review, we can record all the transactions and put it into accounting software. And at the end of the month, we will reconcile all your bank and credit card. And then and we can now present your financial statement. And again, the goal is to see if your client of your or your business is profitable or generating in. Yeah. If you understand you're right, there are three steps. First, we gotta give access to, and I'll ask about how that happens as well. I'm curious yes. like, yeah. through our bank, 
statement, statement. Credit card statement, right? And there's the software that we connect all our things to, some like yeah. accounting software, and then maybe Google Drive where we have all these files. Now, my question to you first is, why would we need somebody to help us with this? Like, let's say we're a, somebody that is a seller. We're like, okay, I want to do that on my own. I sell on Amazon, by the way, since yes. 2016. We get paid about every two weeks from Amazon in our case. We have that as in something that comes in. We have these PDFs right from amazon we have some expenses that you know we pay for our product let's say for this and that why can't we just put it in a folder and count it alone let's say or do we need somebody when should we get a bookkeeper when we're too big when we're small how does it happen <laughs> yeah yeah that's good that's a question so actually that's also a good question that sometimes there's misconception actually doing a bookkeeping or hiring a bookkeeper is good when you start a business why because right. your bookkeeper will really align your goals to the next to five ten years from your businesses and you can also verify through bookkeeper for example you have a budget or a forecast for next year so you can put together with your bookkeeper your forecast for next year and then the bookkeeper we can help you have the actual expenses versus the forecast and from then on you can review together what's happening on your business because sometimes i i mentioned you have mixed your personal and business so although it's not good in the business you have also have a control what to put or what to buy on your business to make it profitable. So our, again, our goal is to make your business profitable. So you have to make sure all is accurate, all are tracked. So again, the key of being a successful is delegation. I do believe if you're a business owner, you want to grow, right? So you want to focus on business development. But hiring mm -hmm. a bookkeeper will also help you to really, you know, you're so relaxed, focusing on growing your business. For sure, in Amazon, there's a lot of happening, right? You have to market your product. You have to do research. But at the end of the day, sometimes the financial statement is being left out. Mm -hmm. And you will be surprised. You will be surprised that you're not, the business is already closed because you didn't focus on your finances, which is so important. Why you do business at the first place, right? To have an income. So again, bookkeeping, bookkeeper, accountant, this will help you understand What's the status of your business? I understand. And you mentioned that also we need to share with you the bank statement, the credit card. Mm -hmm. Do we send you the statements like as a PDF again, or do we give you access? Like how does it work? So it will work. For example, you subscribe for QuickBooks Online. In QuickBooks Online, there's a features that from your bank, it can sync to the QuickBooks Online. So it's much easy. We don't have to to encode manually so although i still need hard copy of the pdf file just to verify some transaction because we will have to make sure as a bookkeeper again we have to make sure it's accurate although the features of quickbooks online can sync all your transaction from income and expenses and the only thing that i will do is verify the transaction how to allocate proper classification for example in e-commerce there's some subscriptions coming in there's a lot of promotion marketing or also paying some vas so there's a lot of thing happening and how, how much you bought the product from the, the supplier so you have to realize how much you bought it what are those expenses included to come up with the srp the selling selling price right to make it profitable so if you don't have a bookkeeper who understand your numbers it's so hard for you to really measure your profitability. But as a seller, let's say again, I've been selling for a while and mm -hmm. of course it grows with time if you grow the business. But in the beginning, I remember like we had mm -hmm. one product, we only paid one time to the supplier. There wasn't much money going around. Like I could say, okay, yeah, yesterday I paid for my product, let's say $500. I didn't have many more. I paid for a logo. I paid for this. So I think in the beginning, a seller can track it on their own. But again, you're saying that a seller should actually focus not on tracking their, if they can find a bookkeeper, they should focus on marketing their product and this and this and that, and not on copy pasting PDF files. And that can be delegated to someone else, you're saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And you're saying that better do it in the beginning of the business because there's still maybe some things that we don't know how to count right in terms of, I don't know even how to say it. Maybe it seems pretty easy in my head. 
<laughs> like we we paid to supplier, we got paid yeah, from Amazon. That's it. Like, and of course, some other expenses. But where do you see Marianne seller saving problem? Where are they, when they have more products, when they have more money moving in and out, and they're like they don't even remember yes. or is. <laughs> Yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah, because basically, again, my question is, how? why do you choose e-commerce as your first business? What is your main goal, right? Mm -hmm. The answer is only to have profit and long-term businesses. But then again, how you will quantify that if you don't know how much you bought the product and what are those expenses are included on that product because there's an Amazon fees, there's taxes. So before putting something on Amazon, you have to consider all those things first with the help of bookkeeper before you put it live on Amazon seller to get how much is your profit afterwards, right? So for example, you just put $100 in one item plus Amazon fee plus some promoting expenses, some taxes. What is your selling price on Amazon? So from then on, you will see, yeah, I'm earning profit around $10 per mm -hmm. product. Mm -hmm. So bookkeeper will help you understand what are the things you need to include per product. So to arrive a profitable business, that's our goal. I hope it explain it well. If I'm an Amazon seller, should my bookkeeper be Amazon bookkeeper? Like in terms of like bookkeeper that understands Amazon business or not necessarily. The bookkeeper can just see based on our numbers, what our business is about. And then from there, he can help us or he, we should look for a bookkeeper that is connected to our sphere. Let's say I'm a seller on Amazon, should I find a bookkeeper that understands e-commerce, Amazon, or I can just find a local bookkeeper in my town? And what do you think? The first, of course, you have to hire a bookkeeper that understands your business model. Mm. Because there's a lot of businesses. Mm. There's, again, real estate, there's the cleaning yeah. services. So you have to understand the pain, pain yes. points of the e-commerce seller. So mm -hmm. what are their pain points? Reconciliations. Because sometimes payout is different from the seller. Sometimes they thought, there's a sales, but then when they receive the money, it's already net. So mm -hmm. how come? There's a lot mm -hmm. of fees involved, PayPal fees, third-party mm -hmm. applications, Stripe. So you have to consider those fees, right? So before you arrive on payout, what's behind? What's the history behind that product? So at least I have knowledge on e-commerce bookkeeping. They're already serving e-commerce client, which I do. I have four clients e-commerce business that's why i came to this uh, helping mm -hmm. some e-commerce clients and then second of course at least finance or bs accountancy graduate because the basic of accounting is on accounting process which is i've already mentioned how we do the bookkeeping from record keeping reconciliations then financial statement it's routinary but then again it's a standard process but if you don't understand how you will record it right again trash in trash out I see. And you also, as you mentioned, you offer a free audit of free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So people can, maybe there's someone listening. He's like, or she's like, mm, yeah, that's interesting. That might be something for me. I have a store or I'm about to start a store and I'm afraid that I won't be, I don't understand my numbers. I'm afraid yes. to understand my numbers or maybe, you know, maybe somebody's already selling <laughs> and he's afraid to understand their numbers. I understand. So you say that Maria and people can come to you. They can get a free audit. You will explain, I guess, what, what does the yeah. free audit include? What do you tell people? Yeah, the free about? audit include, of course, I am so believer of the forecast and budgeting. We can mm. start from that. Because as a business, you have a vision on your company, how much money you want to earn every month. For example, $50,000 a month. So you have to be distinct and sure about your target income. From your target income, let's break it down. What are those expenses included to arrive on that $50,000? So again, we're basic marketing. There's a lot of things happening, subscriptions, so loans, et cetera. And then from that, we can record your day-to-day -day transactions, what's your existing process, or what is your investment before you create the store, right? For sure, you have already hired some VA, you already put marketing, you already put some money on the business. So we have to, to understand how much money you put in, and then you can see the ROI. Again, we're missing the ROI, return of investment, right? So how you will see again, if you already receive your ROI, so and then the, the, the business is running, so you will still understand that my business is really have a potential. I will continue this business because I'm generating income. I already get my ROI on that. So again, we'll start on the free audit. We can do the annual forecast, which will do the interview. 
So from then, we can start. Yeah, if they will avail the services, of course, we'd love to. But then again, the goal is to help you understand first your goal and the potential profit of your business. Right. And then it's pretty much automated, right? In terms of like once, let's say people choose to work with you and maybe with other people that are part of mm -hmm. your group, other bookkeepers. And then after all these initial phases are done, when you and us, we have an understanding of what we send you, when we send it to you. So let's mm -hmm. say in the beginning of each month or in the end, by the end of each month, we send you the bank statement and the yes. credit card statement. We send you or we give you access, access to yeah. our bookkeeping uh, software. Yes. Let's say pretty much that's it. That will take us yes. maybe a few minutes per month instead of yeah. uh, counting oh. One Maybe week. half a day or a day, full day even that we sit, we copy all our invoices yes, can save and, time. and this and this and that. Yeah. So let's say as a seller on Amazon, we have different software such as Helium 10 and different other software that we invest money in to get services from them. Yes. They give us invoices every month. We need to copy this invoice and put it into Google Drive, into the right folder sort yeah, of. Folder, right? Yeah, folder. Yeah. Yeah. Because and then we will record that. So you mm -hmm. can see every month what's the increase and decrease of the expenses. Mm -hmm. So from then on, you have an, uh, uh, this is we call financial analysis. So you mm -hmm. can analyze which things you need to cost cut, right? So mm -hmm. cost cutting will also increase your income. So those things mm -hmm. that you have to consider, sometimes subscription, you're, you're too much buying some subscription, which is not necessary mm -hmm. to your business. So how we will know who's still spending if you don't have a record or the basis, right? So you have the bookkeeper. Yeah, I understand. Before we wrap it up, Marianne, is there anything you would like to tell us that I didn't ask about bookkeeping or something that you would like to advise to people to have better books in their business? What do you say? Yeah, so again, we're helping business owners all over the world. Helping business owner means job opportunity for us. That's why we're here. We want to help our fellow Filipinos and all over the world. But then again, our main goal is to have your profit. You can spend time with your family. You can enjoy the world. You can travel. You can do whatever you want. So you can do that only if you delegate. That's the key for the business delegations and make your business grow, right? So that's the only thing that I can add. And again, I, we're doing this free audit with Boba if you want to have one. So we can really help you to assess your businesses. It is start up or even running already for two to three years. So again, I'm seeing your company. Your vision is to have profitable income, profitable businesses. Pretty cool. We're going to have in the description a way maybe to contact Marianne or something yes. like that. Maybe it's going to be like a form. We'll see. And yeah. also we'll uh, mm -hmm. share, maybe we have some uh, people who are actually bookkeepers are listening and we're going to have your group mm -hmm. as well, where there's about 7,000 people, as you mentioned, that yeah. there are bookkeepers, they're helping each other. It's like a community that grows. That's pretty great results. I think in a year or something, right? You mentioned only one year. That's a we great result, this. I think, building yes. such a big community in one year. So that's pretty thank cool. You. Kudos to you. And uh, thank you for being with us today, explaining this. I hope like, it helps. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because I recently, let's say I talked with two friends. They ran a business on Amazon. And I think they sold over, during the last few years, they sold about maybe $200,000 in, in sales in Amazon. And it's interesting. They never, like, and I was asking them, like, so what's your profit? How's it going? Like, yes. and like oh, well, I'm not sure. Like, it seems like we're, uh, <laughs> and they're, bear in mind, they're saying for a few years already. That's not good, I think. <laughs> because uh, sales is different from the profit, right? Yeah, sales. sales. And maybe you have sales, but the expenses to incur is around 250 So you're owing debt instead of having income so yeah so so that's interesting <laughs> and they've been generate they've been operating like this for a few years so they're cool guys and everything but yes. at some point maybe they'll watch this video and they'll say okay now i understand I actually need to do something about it mm -hmm. to be more connected to the numbers but yeah, i agree with you it helps and uh, on our business let's say my business partner he does this kind of every month he does mm -hmm. the bookkeeping but again we still haven't delegated that to be honest, because we do that internally. However, mm. it takes time. So yes. we need to reconsider maybe. <laughs> do we want to... What is the price, by the way? Usually, what is the price for a bookkeeper per month? I mean, it depends on the business. In the, again, the that's the, I will add this. There's an interview yeah. how much transaction because yeah. it's different from the startup because yeah. only few transactions. But as you grow, yeah. although there's uh, automations and there's some software that's added, Again, we can add value by doing the financial statement and tax seasons ready. But and of course, it is a, for sure it is very affordable for the business because we believe if you have growing business, we have work. The more company that's doing business, 
mm-hmm. we Filipino have work. So we're not really into, you know, how much. But again, we're trying to help mm-hmm. first. Then let's see how how you will compensate us after you have seen your books growing and business growing. And in your case, when do you mm-hmm. tell your price? Like you check the books of the client, you check mm-hmm. there in all this, what you mentioned, some, uh, you do the free audit and then based on the free audit, audit I guess you yeah. can. Transactions. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's hard to say. Is it $200 or $2,000? You didn't see the business? Like... Yeah, because retainers will start. We can have starts at $300 as a startup, retainers. And then mm-hmm. it depends on the bulk of transactions. And yes. of course, we believe in long-term commitment and relationship with the mm-hmm. client. So mm-hmm. money will follow. I do believe on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree with you. Okay, mm-hmm. cool. Well, yeah, and we're going to have all your links in the description. Free audit for, sure. for the people who want to see what's going mm-hmm. on in their business. Free audit. And also the group where uh, other bookkeepers, or maybe yeah. if you're a seller or somebody who's e-commerce yeah, it's seller. Free. Or whatever, Just can... grab it. It's free. <laughs> Just come with us. It's a free audit. Yeah, so free audit and also the, the group, I think sellers can also join the group yes. to see if they can yeah, ask questions. Yeah, questions, and... yeah, mm. with their problems. So it's easy for, you know, interactions. The things Perfect. get done, yeah. Perfect. We're going to have it in the description. And Marianne, again, mm. thank you. And thank you so to, much, to, 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 Thanks to Nordy that connected us. Next yes. session. Thank you, Nordy, uh, for us. Yes, it yes. It yeah. possible without Nordy. Thank you, Nordy, Nordy and yes. Nova. Yes, yeah. and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye.